just clearing my aura for the interview. For all the golf news uh, viewers, this is for you. I quit my job six years ago to follow my dream, and my dream was to host and say things that are important to me to the people. Then I became known as Fly with Haifa, the traveler on YouTube that travels around the world to discover countries and meet people and eat with them and sit with them. So I'm a traveler. I have around 50 million views on my channel. More important than the number is the real impact. So I care a lot about the impact that I can do. So lately I've been really into society, into women things. Let's say waking up myself and others to our, our real rights and just letting go of suffering. I needed suffering, yeah. The biggest challenge, I would say, when I quit my job and uh, wanted to pursue my dream and start online content was editing, because I just don't like editing. I like filming and doing all this stuff, but editing was hard. But it's crazy that when you decide to follow your dream and when there's nothing that you see in the world except your dreams, the right people start to show up and opportunities. So this same week, I decided to quit. I met a girl who has a company and the company just stood by me and edited my videos for free for a whole year. So if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't have made it. It's crazy these days when you just find, you know, an entity that just wants to support dreamers. And that's how my journey with following my dreams started. And you know, when I first started, which was, I started my channel in 2014, I started my YouTube to look for a job because no one would give me a chance as a host. And I knew I had something in me. And literally, I would go to producers and they would literally shut the door on my face and then start praying. Because it's like, you cannot interrupt us right, right now. So then I said, the best way for me to have a show is to give it to myself. And that's the beauty of the internet. The internet doesn't ask you, where are you from? What is your age? Or anything like that. You can just go with your talent and the people will decide. So then I started YouTube to look for a job because I just wanted to put myself out there. Maybe somebody will call me a director or a producer. But then I loved it so much. I loved the sky's the limit and you can do anything and nobody can stop you. So then I quit and I'm like, you know what? This is my full-time expression. It also became my purpose, not just a job. My favorite spot in the world and land is Bali, Indonesia. Land, Bali is a very powerful place uh, with energy and it's so beautiful and the food is great. I travel not just to go to nice places, touristic places, but also I would say spiritual traveling. So get to know, get, getting to know myself and people. So Bali is very generous in the sense. It's scary. You will never go to Bali and come back the same person. Thank you so much for listening and Hakuna Matata, which means don't worry. Bye.